hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a quick look at the integral of the natural logarithm of x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so anytime we see a problem that looks like this involving a logarithm, normally you know that you're going to be either using a u substitution or you're going to be doing an integration by parts or probably a combination of both depending on what the question looks like. So for this question we are definitely going to be using an integration by parts and so let's just quickly remember well, what is the integration by parts formula? Well it's the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay so let's be really careful in how we are defining our u dv and v du terms. So we know that u is picked based on our Li8 acronym here. So that stands for logarithm, inverse, algebraic, trigonometric, and exponential. So whichever one of these appears in your actual integral, that's what you're going to set as u. And for us, at the moment, it looks like as if we've only got a logarithm term in there. But what I'll posit to you now is that I can say that the natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 1 I can just say that that is multiplied by 1, so I can put a little little 1 out the front there. And now technically, 1, I can rewrite that as x to the 0. And if some could argue that that is in fact an algebraic expression. So that's how we're going to be approaching this problem, as if it is going to be an integration by parts. So u, according to Adley 8, must be the logarithm term. Okay, so let's get that down. So u is going to be equal to the natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now differentiating that for du, and that's going to become, well, what's the derivative of the inside function? That would be 2x plus 2. And then just over that function inside the natural log there. So over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, fantastic. So we've got our u and our du. And now, as I was talking about earlier, we're going to put that invisible 1 kind of out the front there to represent another algebraic component here. And so that's going to be our dv section. So I can go ahead and say that dv is equal to 1. And so integrating that for us to get v, well, that's pretty easy. We'll just get v is equal to x. Okay, so let's see what we get now. So we'll say that the integral of the natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx is going to be equal to, well, uv. So I might put the v out the front here, just that way it's going to be x times the natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we'll have minus the integral of v du. So again, so v we know is x, and du we know is written well, just above here as 2x plus 2 all divided through by x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx. Okay, so let's take a quick look at that integral there and let's see what that might be rewritten out as. So the integral of x outside of 2x plus 2 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx. Well, first things first, I realize that I can take out a common factor of 2 in our numerator. And so what that means that we can do now is I can rewrite that but with the 2 out the front of the integral sign there. So that's now going to be 2 outside of x times by x plus 1. And our denominator there, that quadratic x squared plus 2x plus 1, we can actually factorize that as just x plus 1 all squared. Okay, so now it's starting to look a little bit nicer now. So that's just going to be 2 outside the integral of x over x plus 1 and dx. Okay, so now we need to figure out, well, what is the integral of x over x plus 1? This doesn't really look much simpler, but it is getting there. So let's quickly think about that. So the integral of x over x plus 1. How else can I rewrite x over x plus 1? So what we want to do now is we actually want to go through and use polynomial long division to figure out how else we can write that. So it's going to be x plus 1. How many times does that go into x? Well, x times by 1 is equal to x, so then I'll take that away. It'll be 1 times x, and then 1 times positive 1, so plus 1. So x minus x is 0. 0 minus 1 is going to be minus 1. So that's going to be our remainder over here, minus 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so that means now instead of writing x of x plus 1, I can rewrite that as 1 minus 1 
over x plus 1. Okay, there we go. So now it's looking a lot nicer now, and of course, dx on the end there. So let's go back and think about what our problem will look like now. So now, instead of writing out the integral of x outside of 2x plus 2 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1, we'll now just be able to write that as, whoops, and I forgot my 2 out the front there, 2 out the front of the integral of 1 minus 1 over x plus 1. And that is so much easier for us to integrate now. So we know that this integral is just going to become 2x minus 2 times the natural log of x plus 1. And then we'll chuck a plus c on there for now. Okay, so let's quickly remember that this whole expression here needs to go back up into this expression here. That's what we're now replacing. So when we put that in there, we see that we need to put a minus sign out the front. And so that's just going to change the value of everything in here. So now one of the last steps is going to be to rewrite the problem. And so again, integral of natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 1 dx is going to be equal to, well, we started off by saying x times the natural log of x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now we know that we're just going to be taking away this term in the bubble here. So that means now it's going to be plus 2 times the natural log of x plus 1 minus 2x and still plus c because we don't really care. We don't know if c is going to be positive or negative. So we just leave that as a plus c for now. Okay, and that we can stop there. It would be perfectly acceptable to stop at this point here, but there is something that we can do to quickly neaten this up a little bit more. And so that's going to be applying our logarithm laws. And so we know that when there is a coefficient, like a 2 out the front here, out the front of our logarithm term, we know that we can rewrite that with a 2 in the power of whatever is in the brackets of that logarithm. So what that means I can write this as now is again, x natural log x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus natural log of x plus 1 all squared. And whilst we're at it, what we can note as well is, well, x squared plus 2x plus 1, we saw earlier that we can rewrite that as x plus 1 all squared. And then again on the end here, minus 2x plus c. And so now let's see what we've got. Well, we've got the exact same term here the natural log of x plus 1 all squared, as over here. And so our final answer, in simplest form, is going to be x plus 1 brackets times by the natural logarithm of x plus 1 all squared minus 2x plus c. And there we go. So that is our final answer for today's problem. So a little bit of a tricky one today. We've definitely used quite a few techniques and it has been a very nice problem. So if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I really do appreciate it. And as always, stay curious.